Hey guys, welcome back. Stay motivated and make another video today. Today in this video, we're going to talk about why video editing is the most important thing on YouTube. Especially if you want to grow fast. Video editing is obviously not the only factor on YouTube. Knowing who your audience is and what videos to post and other factors as well. Understanding YouTube's algorithm and putting the proper metadata, that's also factors. All these factors can help your channel. However, if you think about it, if you edit your videos really well, then this can override all of the factors. And what I'm saying is that if you edit your videos really well, you can really start to get some traction. Before you go to video editing, pre-planning the shot is very important. For example, you're doing a travel vlog and you want to do it really nice, but later you forgot to record in slow-mo some awesome part. You're going to be thinking, man, this would be so much cooler in slow motion, but you recorded it at 30 frames per second, so you can slow it down in the software, but it's going to look really choppy since you recorded it at 30 FPS. But if you pre-plan the shot and recorded it at 120 FPS, then that shot would be amazing. And same goes for setting up your lights, the microphone, and what time of the day you want to record. Like for example, in the morning it's going to be sunny, but in the afternoon it's going to rain. So obviously if you want some nice shots from outside, you want to do it in the morning. Not only this will save you some time and it'll be easier to edit later, in some cases if you don't record it properly, then there's no way to fix it in post-production. So no matter what editing software you're using, it's not going to happen. And of course, good video editing on YouTube can increase our watch time and average view duration. And you probably already know that if the average view duration is 50, 70% or more, then YouTube usually pushes these videos further. So if you're trying to grow a channel, making the best viewer experience is the most important thing you can actually do for your videos and for the viewers as well, obviously. So cutting the video neatly, deleting all the unnecessary stuff, maybe making some B-roll, make putting some music. Sometimes all it takes is a couple of little cuts here and there and the video gets so much better. Recently I watched Mr. Beast gaming channel video only for a couple of seconds and the editing was so crazy that it was actually too much for me. I know I'm a little bit older so I don't need so many cuts and so much craziness on the screen. Although younger people generally prefer all this commotion on the screen. Not everyone, I know. One of the most important elements on YouTube is the engagement on your videos. And engagement, if you actually look at the YouTube analytics, doesn't just mean likes, comments, and etc. It actually means how much people watch your video, how they react to it. Do they repeat certain parts of your video? Maybe they watch it two times if it's that good. And the crucial one, if they watch it to the end, or at least, like I mentioned before, 50 to 70%. So if YouTube has, let's say, 20 of pretty much same kind of videos, and they all five minutes long, and 19 of them are gonna be watched only one minute, but this one video is gonna be watched for, let's say, you know, three and a half minutes, four minutes, which video do you think YouTube will recommend more? Obviously, the one that was watched for four minutes. Did you ever grab yourself? watching some really interesting video and the video ended and then you were like all, almost disappointed. You were like, what, this is the end? I want more, I love this video. You see, that's the kind of engagement YouTube exactly wants. So that's ultimately what you want. You want your fan or viewer to basically go through your entire video and just realize at the end, OMG, this is the end of the video. And what you really don't want is viewer basically watching for like 30 seconds or so and checking the time, how long do I have to still watch this video? Because if that happens, that's really not going to bring that video anywhere. Now, you don't have to have any crazy edits, anything like that. If you don't have, you know, stack footage, that's fine too. But maybe move the camera around or basically pretty much any app, you can zoom in slowly. So when there is something moving on the screen again, it's kind of refreshing the audience's attention rather than some person just statically sitting there in the same point and trying to talk to the camera for seven minutes without anything moving on on the screen. There is actually nothing more important on YouTube than editing your videos well. No metadata can surpass this step. It doesn't matter how good your thumbnail is. It doesn't matter how good your description is. I mean, they're important, don't get me wrong, but let's say you have tremendous metadata, really amazing thumbnail, and somebody actually finds your video on search, then they're gonna click your video, and your video that is, doesn't have good pacing, like it appears is going very slow, and you know your viewers are gonna watch, let's say, 10 or 15% of the video, or God forbid, 20 seconds. That video is not going anywhere. 
it's better make three minutes awesome video each time rather than seven or ten minutes video that is gonna be just kind of okay-ish is gonna be okay to watch see kind of okay to watch in 2021 will not give this video any views there is about 800 hours uploaded to youtube every single minute or every single day brand new videos so most definitely well edited videos will work better another cool thing of video editing you can hide the imperfections Obviously, if you've been editing and recording for a while, you know what to avoid, but in the beginning, you can make some mistakes. You see, I covered the last part with the b-roll, but here's the original clip. But in the beginning, you can make some mistakes. You see, you didn't even realize that was a mistake in the video, right? Of course, you shouldn't scratch your nose on camera, but I did this on purpose. Just to show you, obviously. You can also do this with sound. You can mute the sound, add music, and you can just do so much more. So not only will it mask the imperfection in the video, but improve it. Nobody is born a master at video editing. But if you keep improving your videos 1% at a time, you look back 20, 30 videos, and you're going to be shocked at the results. Your videos right now will be so much better than your previous videos, especially like 30 videos ago. But if you really want to grow your channel and you're serious about YouTube, learning video editing is a must. Unless you can't afford a video editor, then that's great. But if you can't get a video editor, the good thing is everybody can learn video editing. And so can you. And even on my channel, Chris GTX Videos, I can see the improvement from a year ago. A year ago, my funny skits were horrible, but now I can see a little improvement. I'm not saying my videos are the best in the world, obviously not, but I'm saying that my videos got a little better. But it took a lot of practice from making those videos to get to this point. I hope this video helped you understand how making better edits helps you to grow your channel. Stay motivated, make another video today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys!